All right, it's Mighty. Mighty back at you. Mighty back at you. Welcome, everybody. Welcome into another Mighty Oven. Oh, my God. So I'm, I'm melting away. I need to go turn on the AC. I'll be back. Welcome to another Mighty video. Today, 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 we're going to do a little bit of a different video. This is not a study session. This is not a live trading archive. This is not a recap. But this is a setup video. Um, when it comes to hotkeys and hot buttons and my DAS trader platform. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. Honestly, um, you know, I, I know that I've been procrastinating on this video a lot. A lot of people usually ask me, hey, Mighty, we need a video on your settings on Dicko Stream. Hey, Mighty, we need a video on your hotkeys. Hey, Mighty, we need a video on your, you know, hot buttons on that DAS Trader platform. We got we to gotta, we gotta see the tricks behind the curtains. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, you know, I want to try hot buttons. So first of all, I'm going to show you my hotkeys and then also... I'm going to show you how to set up hotkeys and at the end I'm going to show you how to set up hot buttons. I'm going to set hot, hot buttons with you guys and then we will go from there. So um, if you're excited for that, let's get into it. Famer, my results are not typical. The training is risky. Uh, most traders lose money, so please make sure you train a simulator before you put your hard-earned money on the line. This is, an, this is not a recap, but I'm closing, closing the day up. Green 352, which is only, honestly... You know, a roller coaster of a day for me. I, I was up. I was. Well, it doesn't matter. I was right a lot, and then I recovered. But anyways, um, it's not a recap, so let's not talk about that. Um, BEE is the stock that we're gonna use as an example. Actually, let's use BWB. I want something with tight spread so that we can actually take some trades and, um, and you know, test out the hot the hot keys. Probably a better stock out there to be doing this with. Um, anyways, so here it is. Take a look. These are the hot buttons. Usually, when you go to Dash Trader Pro, let me see if this thing is going to show my account number. Um, yes, it will. Okay, so let's do it like this. So when you first open your, your platform on DAS, the first thing you want to do is go to um, Montage, which is this button right here. You click it, and you're going to get a montage. Then you go right-click, and then, you know, this montage is the exact same thing I have up here, the BWB. You know, and then you move it, you go right-click, then you press Pop Out. It's going to come out, and it's going to be just like this one right there. Um, you're probably going to have some different colors than I have. I'll show you those real quick. Level 2 config. Um, this is my level 2 configuration. These are the colors I have. These are the settings I have. Um, these are the columns, the names I have. Um, you know, that's that. So once you have it like this, it should, it should be looking kind of like this. Right now, you don't have hotkeys. Right now, you're solely relying on the order entry. If you want to get in a position, you need to type it in. You need to hit buy. If you want to get out, you need to type it in. You need to sell. You need to choose if you want to limit market, stop order, all that. Um, you know, and, and when you're trying to trade small caps, high flying stocks, that's too slow. I mean, I don't have time to be typing stuff while while the stock is ripping, you know, skipping 10, 20, 15 cents at a time, getting holding up, dipping 30 cents at a time. It's like... You know, the moment I started looking away from the level two and staring at the order entry in order to get a, the, the, the orders out that I want, that's when I lose. So, you know, hotkeys are very crucial. I've been using hotkeys for my entire career. But, you know, I want to test out the hot buttons and then what a better video to do that than in, a, in this one. Okay, so first you want to click in between anything here on, at the bottom of the order entry. Right click, style, and then you go level two configuration. Then here, this box for you is going to be empty. So then you need to pass all of these to this side. Uh, so you want level 1, which is level 1 quotes. You want level 2, um, which is the level 2 quotes, market depth. Trade is the order entry window. And then hot buttons is going to give you a row there at the bottom. So first it's going to, it's going to look like this without the hot buttons. And then you go level 2 config, hot buttons, you add them. You click OK. And then you click down at the bottom for the hot buttons. Um, you're gonna go add add row. I think you're gonna you're not gonna have buttons at first. It's gonna be empty, but then you go out, add row. You're gonna choose the, the number of buttons you want. I said I wanted five. So then there you go. There's five buttons. What if I go five again? It's gonna, it's gonna add another row. 
Okay, there you go. Why does it make this smaller? The buttons go smaller. Bing, bang, bing, bang, boom, boom, boom. And, you know, that's kind of like the idea. Um, yeah, I don't know how I want to structure it first. Maybe I go 500, 1,000. 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. And then I go 1,000 again here. Kind of like double that so that I can go so that I can play around with these two to double to double the share size or to split it in half. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just keep it simple at first and then I'm gonna start tweaking it a little bit. Alright, so how do I remove a row that I don't want? Delete button at row delete row. Okay, so first let's start it off with five buttons. Let's keep it simple. Um and I'll give you a sec. Alright, so now that we have the buttons, we gotta kind of like edit each button. So, uh, let's see, edit. Um, this is where we type in our script, kind of like telling Das, what do we want this button to do? Button height, font, text color. This is going to be plus 500 shares. Script can be blank. Yeah, but where's the mark? Where's the script wizard? Do you think I'm a computer? How am I supposed to spit out a, a wizard with um, spit out an insane you know script? Okay, so I guess this gives um, leave us with one option, but to go to the hotkey window. So you go to setup, you go to hotkey, then this new window is gonna pop up. I'll show you all my hotkeys here. Um, if you want a, a specific script for any of these, just let me know and I can share those with you. So these are the scripts. I gotta make sure that my webcam is not covering everything. I'll make myself smaller, there you go. So, you know, these are my hotkeys. The ones I'm using right now, I usually shift one, shift two, shift three, shift four, shift five. This is to, you know, to buy, not to buy, but this is to switch my order entry to this actual share size. I also have some actual hotkeys to buy these share size, which are shift I, um, shift I is by 1,000 shares, shift O is by 2,000, shift B by 3,000, and so on. But these are these are the hotkeys, these are the scripts. Um, but, you know, usually, you know, I have too many hotkeys going on. Sometimes what I used to do is that I used to mark my each individual hotkey with a, a little bit like a sticker down at the bottom. But then what I'm what I'm gonna do now is I want to have one hotkey always on the keyboard, keyboard, and then I want to have another hotkey always on the mouse. And if I'm if I'm going to have one hotkey always on the mouse, then you know it would be easier for me just to click the the, the hot buttons to get long, and then to get out to scale out and to sell my position. I'm gonna be using hotkeys to uh, to sell. You know, and the hotkeys to sell are more self-explanatory because one could be flatten, which could be shift A. Another one could be sell half. Shift S, and then sell a quarter, Shift D. So, you know, for, for selling, I only need three hotkeys, which is fine. But for buying, I need, I can buy in so many ways. I can buy the ask plus three cents. I can buy the bid. I can buy the bid plus three cents. I can buy 500 shares, 1,000 shares, 4,000 shares. You know, and, and having that many hotkeys, according to what I want to do, is a little bit trickier. So I'm going to try out the hot buttons, but, um, you know, these are, these are my hotkeys, uh, the ones I'll be using for now. Um, you know, and these hotkeys have been good to me. I'm up over 85,000 in the year so far, which is not bad at all. Um, you know, I have to say it. <laughs> Anyways, so I guess since since this thing wants wants to be dumb and doesn't want wants doesn't want to give us a order wizard, what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new hotkey. Oh, well, actually, I'm gonna use one of the ones I already have. I'm going to create a new one just to show you how, how you do it. So you go add new item and then you go order script wizard. This is how to add a hotkey. And then let's say test for YouTube. And this hotkey, you press whatever hotkey you want. Let's say I want it to be shift T because it's a test. You go to the order script wizard and you go, okay, so I want to buy you can choose any of these, but I I'll, I would just probably go. I want to buy 500 shares um, on whatever symbol I'm I'm clicked on at market. 
because I am wild like that. Um, and then, and then um, we want to see also by day plus. This means that this order will go through pre-market, after hours, and during normal hours. Because of this, it won't go because of the market order. But if this was a limit order, it would go, it would go fine to this route. So that should be good. And then stop type, blah, 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 mode, load and go. You want to you wanna make sure it says load and send. Because if not, once you press the hotkey, it's just going to go into your montage, into your order entry, and then you have to kick buy again. And you know, you don't want to be doing all that. You want to you wanna see that the moment you press the hotkey, you want to be in. So, um, so, you know, and then you go build script. And this is the script we're going to need. All right, then you copy that and then that's the thing we're going to use for our hot buttons. So, you know, since I already have an order, a script to buy, to buy a thousand shares, I'm going to be using that one. Give me one second. I just making a note to myself. Um, okay, so Shift I for me is route market share by a thousand shares on my account number day plus buy and send. So let's copy this and let's put it into sticky note here. So that's the that's the thing that we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna go here. Holy crap. Did I buy something? Jesus Christ. Um, edit. It's going to be, well, this one's going to be here. Edit. Buy. Plus 1000. And then we're going to put here in the script. Control paste. And that's it. And let's see if it works. Let me go take a look and see if something's moving. And then screw it. I guess I'm going to be taking a trade here. Oh boy. Okay. But at least let me check if something's moving. It's RVE. It's R. It's VRE. No, no volume. DBTX. DBTX. Uh, let me see BBBY. No thanks. Okay, let's let's try BBIG. 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 Because it's cheap, so. You know, buying a thousand shares should be an issue. Um, let's see if it works. So I'm pressed in the hotkey. Buy a thousand. Let's see if we can jump in for a quick break of 850. Okay, so I guess that did work because I'm long there at 850. Um, now can we break so that this trade is not worthless? Mm. Can we sell right back at um, 350? But this is not a losing trade. I'll be right back with an outcome. Okay, that didn't work. 
Anyways, the hunky work, yay. I lost 10 bucks. Um, I don't want the title bar. Why I don't want the title bar? Because I like the green neon thing around the around the edges when I use it. So now that worked. Okay, so now let's do the same thing again. So I'm using this again, but now we want this to say 500 plus 500. Um, okay. Edit plus fifteen hundred plus fifteen hundred. Okay. Edit plus two thousand two thousand. Okay. And plus 2,500. And we're missing a hotkey. I want to go up to 3,000. I actually want to go up to 3,500. 3,000. No, 2,500. 2,500. There you go. Um, okay. How does that look? Now, can we get some power hour action so that I can test these stocks, these um, hot buttons? But um, let's see. So there's some, uh, some market, buy market hot buttons. I should specify that these are market, am I right? Well, oh my god. So I just go like M. Is that going to make it too long? Okay. Edit. Okay, T. Edit. Okay, T. Edit. MKT. Edit. Okay, T. All right. Um, plus five hundred, plus one thousand, plus fifteen hundred. Um, so that looks good. Let me add an extra hot button here. So I'll go. I can't add another one. Look to the left. I just... Let's not be stupid. Why can't I add another one? Hmm. At row. I just can't add a row? What the hell? Well, I guess we're getting a row. 3, 5. And now let's test this hot buttons here. Um, if this thing can, can get closer to 183, I'm going to test it with this one and see if it works. In any case, let's do this. Is what I have to, uh, this is what I have in mind. What I want to do, what I want to do is this. So I'm going to go 1000 again here. MKT. Hold up. Hold up. What I mean for the break of higher day, can we see it? 83. 83, come on, we're hesitating at 83. Can we rip through 83? Well, the hard case worked. I don't know if this rate will. 81. 82. 83. There's some green. Can we see it? There we go. The hockey work. Um, great. So that makes for that loss. Um, anyways. That hockey works, so then probably the rest do work. Now let's let's finish with the rest. So this one's gonna be plus a thousand. Why? You already have one plus a thousand. Well, let me let me explain. This is what I'm thinking. Thousand. Control copy paste. Okay. So what I'm thinking is that 
Okay, let me finish up the, the hotkeys first and then I'll tell you what I think. Um, what's the trade there, Marcelo? Why do you buy there? Well, it was just a high of day breakout. High of day breakout. This one then plus 2000. Yeah, I don't know yet. Anyway, plus 2,000. I'm thinking how I want this, this hotkeys to be organized. Um, plus 2,000, market. Also, let me just check if that actually bought 2,000 shares on that trade. Yeah, it was 2,000 shares. Um... Okay, so 2,000. So what I'm thinking is that the buttons at the bottoms are the ones that I'm going to be using the most. Kind of like, okay, how much I want to trade on this stock? 2,000 shares. Okay, I'm going to be using this hard key to trade. 2,000 shares, blah, blah, blah. But then, you know, while I'm trading, if I just slightly move my mouse up, I know that I'm going to have half the position I was trading with. So let's say I, I'm taking the front side of the move with this size. Boom, 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 boom. And then like, okay, it's getting a little standard. Let me reduce by half. You know what I'm saying? But if I want to reduce even more, I just go this way. Oh, no, that's the same. But that wouldn't work. Um, this one is going to be 3,000 here. But then that would work. Because I can either reduce to half or just do a little. You know? Uh, hmm. Anyway. Yeah, probably this part of way to do this. I'm doing like this. But you know, I'm a hotkey guy. I'm a virgin when it comes to hot buttons, so give me a break. Um, so this is going to be 3,000. Copy. Plus 3,000. Market. Okay. Edit. Plus 4,000. These are the big boy hotkeys. Hmm, 4,000. That's some big risk. And the big boy one. This is mighty going crazy. Mighty saying, yep, it's time. The time has come. 5,000. Probably for a cheaper stock, wouldn't be that big of a deal anyway. Five. All right, okay, so there you go. Those are the hot buttons. You can make them look pretty if you want. Kind of like, you know, you can color them and shit, but man, I got to stop cussing. I'm sorry. I say, I say, I said sheep. Like, you know, you can be playful and colorful like a beautiful sheep. You know, the YouTube algorithm doesn't like people cussing. And so, you know, those are the hot buttons. Now, the million dollar question, how can I translate all this to here without having to do it all over again i have no idea but i'm gonna figure it out for you guys and i'll be right back again aye, aye, aye. like and subscribe to this video because i find the way and subscribe to this channel to this video jesus christ um i found the way so like subscribe so you need to go to hotkeys gotta go to hotkeys remember how to do that Hope you do. So set up. Go to your, your main DAS platform hotkeys. And then add new item. We're gonna we're gonna type it. This is important. You need to type in this is nonsense. You type that in and then you need to choose a hot key. Because apparently you can only duplicate the stuff with a hotkey, which is ridiculous. So that's why the name is This Is Nonsense. Um, so and then and then you need to write down duplicate window. Am I right? Am I right, Berbur? Duplicate window, and this should work. 
All right, control zero. Now you click on the on the level two you actually want to duplicate, which would be this one in our case, because this is the one I already put all the hot buttons on. So duplicate windows. You click on the montage, control zero, and it worked. Look at that. Look at that. Are they going to be linked? Probably. B -b 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 -y. They're not linked. Mr. Mr. Mighty, how do you link Windows? Well, this is how you do it. First of all, let me duplicate this as well so that I can have another time in sales. There you go. So now you, you see this little anchor here. You grab it and you toss it on, on top of the window you want to use. I know it's ridiculous, but that's how it is. Grab this anchor like um, like your Jack Sparrow and then you throw it into the other window you want to connect it to. If you have another chart, I don't use the DAS, the DAS charts, but if you want to connect to your level two to your chart, you grab this anchor and then you throw it in the chart and that should do the job. Um, and there you go. Those are, th that, that's the way you do hot buttons, you know, the same way if you want to have some buy, ask, buy, you know, the bid, stuff like that. You just have to, you just have to create a script that works for that. And then you add it to your hot button. The hotkeys, um, the hotkeys, you know, the same thing. You got to go to hotkeys and do all that. Um, and then how to get a time and sales. I don't know if I went over that, but it should be somewhere here. Uh, 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 uh. Here. No. Tools. Windows. Tools. Setup. Quotes. Time and sale. There you go. So quotes, time and sale. And then you do the anchor thing and there you go. So, um, hmm, that's looking pretty good. Kind of like the idea is to, again, um, you know, be trading with this at the same time. I'm going to have my mouse here with my hand. I can be like, you know, 4,000 shares. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, too much size. Let me reduce. Go up to 2,000. Go down to 2,000. Let me reduce not that much. 3,000. You know? I don't know if this is even the best way to do it. You know, because I would love to just be able to say 3,000 shares and then just and then, 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 and then just make my dash level 2 to stay at 3,000 3, shares forever. But no, every time I buy 3,000 shares, let's say I sell half, then my order entry window is going to is gonna change to half. And then I say I want to buy again, I'm only buying half size without, without even noticing. And I had too many times that I miss a big trade just because this happened. I would be long a thousand shares. I would scale out because it's a winning trade. I would sell half. So I'm I'm long only five hundred shares. It goes a little bit higher. I would sell another half. And I'm and I'm long just two hundred and fifty shares. And then I close the position. I close the two hundred and fifty shares. Then my DAS level two order entry share size amount would change to two hundred and fifty shares. And then you know I wouldn't notice that. And I would be like, okay, let's wait for the first pullback. The first pullback comes I buy it, it's another winning trade, but I'm only in 250 shares. And I'm like, what happened? And then I realized that I bought like quarter size, which made my, you know, my, my win so much smaller. Um, Look at the break of 1850. What's happened to BBY? Is it moving? BBY. Yep, it's moving a little. You want to test out the hotkeys hell, the again? No. <laughs> Too much. And then for this one, I will have to use 500. Um, but yeah, these are the hotkeys I'm going to use now. Another problem is that, you know, my... Let me close this. Close. Close. The only problem is that this, this now is going to be super tall. And it's going to be covering, you know, a chunk of my chart. My chart. So I wonder if you can connect montages. So you, what if I go like control zero, I have another one of these, am I right? And then I go um, here, style, no, trading settings, no, they are config. I remove everything but the hot buttons. Am I right? I have just that. Um, and then I connected to this? Would this work? I guess we need to find out. L -M -L -R -M -R. 
No, wait for me. It'll, or, or. Let's try with touch on the chairs. And it did work. Will my hotkeys to bail out work too? Let's see. Come on. I went long there because 350 was holding. And it's not holding and I'm closing the trade. That did work. It looks like I was already red on the stock. I hope I was red on the stock. Did I lose 158 just on that? No, I must have been red on the stock already from earlier. Um, so that did work. Hmm, mighty genius. Uh huh. But then, I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Oh, by the way, and I know you guys are gonna say, "Hey, you can say that you can set the default. You can set the dash order entry to go back to your default share size." I know that, but but then you know, I I don't want just to have my default as a thousand and then I trade a thousand on everything. I want to be able to play with my share size and sometimes you know, sometimes buy. 3,000, sometimes by 500, depending on the risk. Um, this video is long enough. But then there you go. I guess you could do this. Let's see. At row. Well, title bar. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Hmm. Control zero, and then what if I remove everything? No, what if I just remove the level two? Layer config. Okay. Um, I guess we don't need the level one either, right? That's gone. Okay. We would only need this. It's kind of like chopping half of that here. And then you could do, you could do, I don't even know, I don't know. No, I do know. So you could do control zero and then you could go to this one and go layout, remove this, remove this. You have only level two. And then you put this up here. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't solve the problem, does it? You just change it to from place. Because I don't wanna, I don't wanna have here to sign, you know what I mean? If I do have it on the side, Actually, I could do. See, here's the thing. Whenever you close the thing, you need to you need to right click on such a specific place to go to layout. That you know. So what if I don't even need level one? Just a nice level two. And then and I go like this. I don't know. Yeah, maybe this is too much. But you know, the idea is that you can play with it and you can adjust it to whatever you want. So that's the cool part. Uh huh. But um, for now, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully, you guys were actually able to make fire up some hotkeys, fire up some hot buttons. Um, that's my layout. My layout is just that I have four of these across different monitors, and then I have a one-minute chart on top of them. And the one-minute chart is on Tinko Stream. My Dash platform is connected to my TD Ameritrade account. And that's how I do it. That's how I do it. Alright people, thanks for joining. Hopefully you learned something. Um, remember, leave a like, subscribe if you learned something. And um, yeah, take it easy. Till the next one.